What this video proposes is actually insane. Even die-hard Warrior fans will not believe this can happen, but it can. Right now the dubs are losing because they're trying to play the future with the present. The fix is flipping the future to win now. If Golden State doesn't make a mega trade, they will waste the end of Steph Curry's prime. And actually, they could lose the MVP altogether if he wants to win somewhere else. Hey, it's Casey. Welcome to AM Hoops. Hit subscribe and notification bells. If you have watched the channel, you know that you get five videos per week, always dropping at 5 p.m. Eastern, but also that we have a new set. It is all real, kind of. Um, let me know what you think about the set. Obviously, I put a lot of work into it. It's not exactly what I wanted, but like I'm open to changes. So the floating picture frame, it's cool, but the background is cool. Maybe we want to see more background and we get rid of the picture frame, which would suck, but I'm willing to do it. Let me know what you think below in the comments. Okay, before we get into this insane trade idea, Steph could actually leave. I will drop the link to the full explanation at the end of this video, but bottom line, he could value winning over Warriors. If Golden State doesn't improve, his career will end like it's going right now. Best player on an okay team that needs him to win every night. I know Klay Thompson will return, but we don't know how he'll look after an ACL and an Achilles tear. Steph has not signed the extension that was on the table. Why is he keeping his options open? The reason could be Curry is waiting to see if the Warriors make this kind of deal. So I'm just going to drop it right now. There's a way for the dub to get both Bradley Beal and Lonzo Ball. It would put them back in championship contention immediately, but would also cost everything. I mean, the entire future. The Warriors could look like the Brooklyn Nets after KD and Harden leave. Empty. Yes, they need to give up James Wiseman. I know the rookies looked amazing. He looks like the rookie of the year some nights. But rookies don't translate to championships. They need to catch up in the regular season, then get used to the playoffs. Wiseman's just not on their timeline. Some Dubs fans are gonna hate it, but that's what it'll take. Along with Wiseman, I think the assets on the table are the Warriors 2023, 25, and 27 first round picks, the Timberwolves top three protected in 21, pick swaps, Kelly Oubre Jr., Eric Pascal and Andrew Wiggins. Yes, other players are on the table, but these are the guys with trade value. Look, the Warriors have to be bold enough to trade a future All-NBA center in Wiseman. I know you guys are excited about what the future could look, but that's not a guarantee. Think about how long it took for the Warriors to win another title. From 1975 to 2015, 40 years. Golden State could be an above average team for the next generation with no chips or a bad team with one more banner. I think trading the future is worth it because the most important thing is getting a ring. So with all those assets in mind, here's how a trade for Bradley Beal and a trade for Lonzo Ball would go down. Then we will dissect what that would mean for all the teams involved. Trade number one, Lonzo Ball and Nico Melli for Kelly Oubre Jr. Shams already reported that this is being discussed. It is embarrassing for Oubre that his name is being floated 17 games in, but that's how disappointing he's been. He's averaging just about 12 points per game on 22% from downtown. The good news is Oubre is not that bad. A change of scenery would be great for him, especially at just 25 years old. Why would New Orleans bring in a bad shooter around Zion? Cause Lonzo ain't much better. Zoe has had his moments, but the three is inconsistent. He's got a lot more value to Golden State. Ball is almost the perfect player for the Warriors. A great cutter, a high level defender, and he can push the ball in transition, which is how Golden State likes to play. They're bad this year whenever Draymond isn't pushing the ball, Zoe would give them another option. Dude would get tons of open looks too with Steph on the court, so maybe that three does come around. I think swapping Oubre for Zoe makes sense for New Orleans, 
because both are in a contract year, but Oubre will be a lot easier to negotiate with, not represented by Clutch Sports. The next trade, Bradley Beal for Andrew Wiggins, James Wiseman, the Timberwolves first, and the Warriors first in 23 and 25. I know it's a lot to give up, but can you imagine the packages Golden State will compete against? I'm gonna link my top five Beal trade scenarios at the end of the video, but the point is, the Dubs will have to blow DC away. Washington gets an impressive Wiseman to start at center, which is a huge upgrade over the injured Thomas Bryant. Yeah, Andrew Wiggins makes a lot of money and he's a vet, but he's played really well under Steve Kerr and he's only 25 years old. He is on their timeline. The Warriors have to hope that DC likes this package more than a Michael Porter Jr. deal or a Ben Simmons offer from Philly. They also have their 2027 first up their sleeve if the Wizards demand it. Now I know some people are gonna say that is way too much to give up for Bradley Beal. In fact, a pretty smart guy, you might've heard of him, Bill Simmons said this about a similar offer. Whether Golden State would have to throw anything else in that, I don't know. I, I personally think that's a load for Beal. Okay, and Bill Simmons, like I said, has made millions analyzing the NBA. But think about what stars go for in this market. Like eight first round picks, five. Drew Holiday got three. Bradley Beal is not a culture changer like James Harden is dominating the ball. He can fit into almost any team. He's just 27 years old and he's the only star like this left to be traded. Combine that with the bidding war Golden State will be in and believe me, the price would be this high. If the Warriors somehow pulled off these trades, their starting five next year would be Stephen Curry, Bradley Beal, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, and Kevon Looney with Zoe off the bench. That is a team that's above average on defense and elite on offense, a championship formula. Zoe would play in some lineups with the big four if the Warriors go small, but I think he's valuable off the bench. The alternative to this is bad. It is sticking with what they have now, plus those picks. Next year, they would start Steph, Clay, Wiggins, Draymond, and probably James Wiseman. Add the Timberwolves top pick and their own lottery pick, and they've got a very good team. But I don't think that competes for a title. The West is stacked with the two LA teams. The improving Jazz, the Nuggets, very good is not good enough when you've been a dynasty. I totally get the Warriors want to be the next Spurs, a team that extends the dynasty for almost 20 years with the same core, but that's impossible. San Antonio was so lucky to go from David Robinson to Tim Duncan, then pick Kawhi in the late lottery. That kind of thing will never happen again. Giving up the future hurts, but I don't think this team has a choice. Again, the Warriors are championship contenders if they make those trades and they have that high draft pick coming in. I am gonna link at the end of this video the top five build trades and the deeper dive on why Steph could leave. Support AM Hoops and click subscribe. Don't miss a daily NBA video.